Hey everybody, it is Andrea Beam here with the Beam Team LLC at EXP Realty. I have another market update for you guys. I know you've been waiting for the next one. Um, I have the newest numbers coming out from January um, and just some year over year numbers as well. We are posting these videos every month with the newest updated statistics right here in North Albany where you live so that you can make educated decisions on your own home buying and home selling process instead of having to rely on information from the national news or even the Portland or Eugene areas. We want you guys to be able to know what's going on right here in your own backyard. So we're going to share a couple numbers with you today, and uh, I promise to make them short, sweet, and to the point. I know numbers can be a little boring sometimes, and yet these numbers really do tell a story of what is going on here locally in our market. So the first number I'm going to share with you is uh, the median sales price. So for North Albany, this number is sitting at 512,500. Um, that number has ticked down slightly both year over year as well as month over month. So 3.3% year over year, not a big downturn, um, and 7.6% uh, just over the course of December to January. So there was a definite little downtick there from December to January. Uh, the next number is the median uh, days on the market. And this number I like just because it helps for planning purposes, potentially, uh, you know, if you want to know how long you need to plan for your home to potentially be on the market to get you moved. Uh, we're currently sitting in North Albany at 111 days. That actually has taken a huge uptick just year over year it was a 98% increase in the amount of time a home spends on the market. Month over month, though, that number uh, corrected a little bit, adjusted a little bit, and actually came down 21%. So seeing a little bit of an improvement there in the amount of time a home is spending on the market there in North Albany. The next number is your list price received. And this number is sitting at 98.5%. So it's just the percentage of your asking price that the seller is actually getting on the sale of their home. And at 98.5%, you know, they're not getting necessarily always their asking price. There's some more concessions happening right now that we're seeing, whether that be a little bit off the sales price or potentially a seller helping a buyer with their closing costs. Um, or maybe even doing some repairs to the home prior to closing. So that number, um, it it did it did reduce just a hair, just 0.9% from December to January. So not too much movement there. And then the last number I want to share with you guys is the month's supply of inventory. So this number is at 2.2 months of inventory. Um, you know, the last two years, there's been like less than two weeks of inventory. And... If you look historically at months of inventory, uh, six months has always been considered kind of a balanced market. Uh, we're kind of watching that. We're, we've heard lots of talk of the new normal, the new balanced market, maybe actually being less than six months, uh, but we're kind of keeping an eye on that. So 2.2 months of inventory, all that means is if we put no more homes on the market as of today, based on the current rate of sales, the way that they're happening, it would take 2.2 months for us to sell through all of our current inventory on the market of homes. So you guys, I hope this helps you make educated decisions about your own home selling and home buying process. If you have any questions at all about your own specific scenario, please reach out to the BEAM team at 541-918-2336. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel down below so that you get notifications of all of our future videos. And if you have questions that you need to ask our agents about, just give us a call.